Hey guys, Professor Phil, Comic Book University, and Wonder Woman issue number 63. All right, there's uh, he's good, he's bad, and it's pretty much the exact same thing. Let's get talk about who made this comic book. So we got the New World. Uh, there's a brand new, um, uh, what do you call it? This is like a jumping on point-ish, all right? This is a new uh, uh, arc that we're beginning here. G. Willow Wilson is the writer. Manuela Lupacino is on pencils. Ray McCarthy on inks. Romulo Fiaro Jr. on colors. Pat Brousseau on letters. Uh, what the frick is this? Zermanico on covers. And the variant cover is Kamon Shirahama. Interesting. <laughs> and Wonder Woman was created by William Moulton Marston and H.G. Peter, which nobody in D.C. seems to want to acknowledge. Okay, so these, um, these monsters, these <laughs> animals, these... Oh, God, I might as well say rapists at this point. Seriously, no, like that's that's real talk because these are obviously um, the aliens that are coming over illegally. They're not passing our checkpoints. <laughs> they're, they're coming over in other ways and uh, they're being processed into the country in ways that they should not actually be processed in the country. That's not actually the way things work. They're actually checkpoints and you have to, at the very least... Um, what's it called? Flagpole, which means, okay, go down to one of the actual checkpoints and come in because anybody else who you come across, um, you know, that, that's supposed to do any kind of border control in any way, shape or form is simply going to have to arrest you and send you down there because that's where the processing plants are. And it could be up there also. So if they're in New York, you know, or somewhere in that area, they would actually go up to, uh, the Canada border and they would do the processing there. So this wouldn't be done on the you know, in the middle of the country. It just, it just wouldn't. That's just not the way it works. They're, they came in illegally. They don't have passports, don't have anything. So, pst. um, and of course I'm sure they didn't mean it, whatever. And it's hard to really feel sorry for these guys because they're the ones who are trying to, you know, jerk around what's his name and beat up on, um, uh, okay. I know his name. God, I'm so kerfluffed <laughs> by this comic book, man. It could be good or it could be bad. Um, what do you call it? The uh, Steve Trevor. There we go. They were they were beating up on Steve Trevor. Broke some of his ribs. We want to know what happened to him. The previous storyline ended and we jump right into this one where these animals now need some love, I guess. One of them finds love, which is interesting. It's like, hey, I didn't think there were any minotaurs here. And all of a sudden, oh, look, there's a minotaur. And all of a sudden, yeah, of course, got to get with you because, well... Minotaurs, you know, the second we meet a minotaur right away, you know, I, I don't know, man, like if I'm off in the jungle and I see one woman, I, I don't think I'm falling in love with this woman. All right. I, I could be like, you know, oh, wow, look, it's a woman. Be really happy. It'd be a guy that I can meet, be like, oh, my God, it's a, it's a dude. I'm like, so happy to meet you. I'm not going to try to fall in love with a guy. It's just, you know, so that's just weird. That's just weird. It, 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 this was just too damn convenient. Now. What I will say, the the positive and negative part of this comic, as I see it, is that this is a clear, obvious, uh, say, uh, opinion, voice on the idea of immigrants coming into the country, in this case, America, which is a huge uh, hotbed topic, you know, around election time, around election time, and just, you know, so that, yeah. Whatever. I, I'm trying so hard to not get political in this very clearly political statement. Look, um, I think it's understood. I think, you know, if, you, if you're new to the channel, you don't know this, but I'm pretty sure that anybody who actually hangs around the channel understands I've got very progressive um, political beliefs. And um, I do believe that not only is it cool, but actually essential to have immigrants coming to the country. I myself am third generation. And um, yeah, immigrants coming to the country are a huge help to not just the economy, but to the people itself. Yeah, of course, if you throw people into the country and just say, yeah, your people are over there, like as if we're all in a prison situation. Okay, there's gonna be a lot of people who go on, you know, the welfare system. Um, even then that's still not as bad as the corporate welfare system where you have this new phenomenon that I've never heard of when I was a kid and I've only heard of it recently because suddenly it's become, it's becoming a thing, gigantic corporations, uh, and it's the, uh, corporate welfare system where you have the working poor. How the heck did we ever come to this where people working 40 hours a week can need to go on freaking welfare? 
and I don't want to hear about getting two jobs. That's ridiculous. But um, nonetheless, like when, you know, new people come over, get new ideas, new business opportunities, new people to buy and sell the products that we have, which are kind of essential and, you know, want need basis. Like it's just, it, it, it makes sense. And, and I don't think you necessarily need a, a business degree you know, like I, like I received so that you can understand this stuff. No, like, yes, these classes actually exist where we do talk about how immigration is so good for the economy. It's amazing for the economy, but I understand most people don't go to business school, so it is what it is, but like I am on the side of this, but, but I can't be so quickly, easily on the side of is just, you know, this is just so blatant. This is so obvious. There's This isn't like an Aesop's fable where it's like, okay, here's some cool stuff showing up and blah, blah, blah. Oh, by the way, the moral of the story is, hint, hint, where it's like, oh, this is actually a, a conversation on, you know, immigration and the, the morality of it and should we accept strangers and things like that. That would be better, in my opinion. That would be better. Instead of just blatantly coming out and saying, it... God, I hate this term, but it's a real term and it's a real thing. Virtue signaling. Hey, this comic book is trying to show all of you people, but it's not going to show anybody. It's not going to teach anybody anything. The people who already believe that immigration is a good thing are going to look at this and say, oh, cool. And the people who don't are going to look at this and say, F this crap. And me, who doesn't side with one or the other all the time, but rather I look at everything that comes at me as an individual with my own eyes, my own logic, my own research, my own understanding, um, rather than, you know, looking in a, in a vacuum, I just look at this as, you know, a, a blatant waving of the sign, you know, like you're just making a huge you know, sign on poster board and holding it up for everybody to see. And it's like, it's, it just feels lazy. I did say there's a potential this could be good though. And the way that is, is that this did just come right out and say, Hey, this is what the book is about. Look. And now it's out of the way. And now if it's not mentioned anymore, it's not beaten like a dead Pegasus see what I did there, um, then maybe the story can be told and we just get the obvious out of the way. The people who are just going to cry, whine, complain, moan, rip up comic books and act like a bunch of little sissy, yellow belly, sap sucking mama's boys who are still attached to the teat and they're not used to the idea of a world, it's a world, it's and I'm a snowflake, you know, those jackasses, you know, they're, they're they're, they're going to be either gone or hate reading the comic book because, well, you know, that's what drives up subscriber rate and view count and gets them a couple more bucks. And when they go live, they'll get some super chats and stuff like that. And just, you know, basically just losers who are still sucking on the teat of women. I mean, I don't know what to tell you. I don't know. You go ahead. You tell me it's something different. Why read something that you don't like, right? So that's exactly what it is. They're also virtue signaling. That's all that those kinds of channels are all about. They are pure and simple from the beginning to the end and all through between every single video they do. It's all virtue signaling with their hands because they're typically a bunch of little pussy sissy girls who don't want to actually show their faces. Anyway, um, but we get this out of the way and maybe if it's just not brought up again and there is no more, by the way, here's my sign. I don't want to see your sign. I don't want to see your sign. That was a horrible way of trying to pick up, you know, girls in the first place that whole, hey, so uh, what's your sign? Like just, no, that, that just, that doesn't work. <laughs> it's, it's just silly. But now that it's out of the way, maybe we can actually get a good story out of this. Because this comic book was fun, despite everything that I'd said prior. All those things stand. All those things are real. Oh my god, this virtue signaling is painful to watch. 
And I personally feel, without knowing what else is going to happen in the rest of the story, I personally feel that if it were just ignored, and they just went on telling a beautiful story, and didn't go into the whole, oh, but you know, oh, this and this and this, and like treating us with kids' gloves, and just instead told the story that they're trying to tell, maybe this is the story they're trying to tell. But if they just told the damn story and then let us figure out what the behind the scenes message was, that I think would be so much better. To me, that realization when you're watching, um, excuse me, uh, X-Men 2, you know, the second X-Men movie where Wolverine and everybody, they're in uh, Iceman's house and then the mom goes and says to Iceman, Ice Boy at this point, have you ever tried not being a mutant? And I'm just like, oh, that's kind of like how people always say, have you ever tried not being gay? And I mean, you can't help it because it, oh my God, they've been saying that the whole time, haven't they? Like that kind of a realization. Yeah, of course I knew much younger. But the point is, um, you know, that's the kind of thing where you suddenly get it one day. Oh. Oh, that was good. And you're already understanding. Because, hey. But when you just put this stuff out in the beginning, again, maybe it's the idea of just get away the, the hateful people and just go into the, the story of the people. But, but, the, but the regular people who would enjoy this comic book, people like me, I'm already turned off by this. I'm already turned off by this because I'm just like, dude, what the frig? You notice I'm on digital copies right now. Comixology, man. Sponsor me, baby. But, <laughs> but I just, I don't know, man. <clears throat> Oof, I don't know. I want so bad for this to just be a good story. And I know that there's a good story in here. But all I'm getting is a big old sign shoved right in my face. And it's like kids, for kids, my kids, my three-year-old, my five-year-old, my five-year-old, not so much anymore. I've I've yelled at him enough times about this. Sorry, eventually it turns into yelling. Um, but my my three-year-old still, you know, Daddy, look at this. Okay, kiddo, I I can't see this. Could you pull it? Could you put look right about here? I could see it. I, I any closer, it's just a blare. All right, it's it's scary. So just okay. Oh, that's actually really cool. It's a nice drawing. You know, whatever it is, whatever it is, your new toy, whatever. It's like you, you can't say anything when you're shoving stuff in people's faces, and you're you're turning off the right and the wrong people. So I just I just want the damn story to be told. So may, you know what? Like you don't have to throw the baby out with the bathwater. It's a favorite saying of mine. Um, instead, you could just look at it as okay. We did the big virtue signaling thing. Everybody knows what the story's about now. But now that it's out of the way, we don't have to beat the dead horse. We could just tell a story and everybody knows where we're going. And maybe if this works in that regard, if, if this beta testing works, awesome. Awesome. Then by all means, proceed. Continue telling stories like this. The beginning of an arc, here's a sign, and then throw it out and just let us you know, enjoy the story. Or, let us figure it out on our own. I just feel that it's the more mature thing to do. Just trust that we're going to get it. That we're going to understand. And then later, if we're confronted with something that we just weren't familiar with, all of a sudden, oh wow. That's actually really cool. Huh. Something to think about. Anyway, guys, this comic book arc, this comic book, like G. Willow Wilson on Wonder Woman, this could genuinely go either way. It could completely fall on its ass and just, you know, I can't get back up. I can't feel my toes. It could. It could. Or it could wind up turning into something really cool. Um, I really don't know where it's going to go. I'm going to have to read another issue. I swear to God, if there's any virtue signaling in the next issue, like I'm done. I'm just done. I'll let you know I'm done. Or actually, you probably won't even see the freaking video. I don't know. I don't know. Like, because I just, I don't like to hate read stuff. That's just not, you know, because I'm not an immature little miserable prick who gets off on 
bashing other people and then creates horrible crap on my own, if I can even create crap on my own, you know. So there's that. Anyway, I'm done. Professor Bill, Comic Book University. Class dismissed.